What's up guys, it is Cory from Super Kami Guru 9000 and welcome to my review of Naruto Shippuden episode 289. This is it guys, it looks like this is probably going to be the conclusion of the Seven Swordsman mini filler arc that we've had. And uh, it was a pretty good one, I really enjoyed it. You know, Amiyori Ringo is a character, uh, you know, when I first saw in the manga I was a little shocked by because uh, she was using the swords that Raigo was using in the filler arc in the original Naruto anime series. And this just sort of confounded me a little bit because I was like, huh, are they trying to tie things together? And I was thinking in this episode, are they going to try to bring Raiga in somehow or at least mention him? And... They didn't. They didn't mention it at all. And you know what? I really don't have too much of a problem with that. Uh, what I did like about this episode, however, is I thought it was mostly just going to be Kakashi and Guy fighting against Ringo. But that's not the case here. It's actually going to be mostly Omoi who's going to be fighting against her. And uh, Omoi is a character I think is a, a really great side character. I think he's really funny. And uh, he's a very relatable character. A group of Cloud Ninja are being pursued by Amayori Ringo who is just completely ruthless. And uh, it's really interesting because she's the only female member of the Seven Swordsmen. Uh, but she's easily one of the most powerful ones. She actually has this technique uh, called like the lightning gate where she shoves her swords into the ground and then you can actually uh, see they pan out a little bit and they have just this like lightning lighting up the ground all over the place. It's just crazy. One of these douche cloud ninjas starts to take over Omoi's group and decides to run away. However, this doesn't matter because Amiyori Ringo is known as like the best tracking ninja ever and eventually does get to them and takes out a few members of their group. Eventually Omoi's like, screw this, I gotta do this, you know. And then there's actually a nice little flashback we learn uh, of him interacting with Killer B, wanting to learn a little bit more how to use swords and everything. And that's really interesting, because this really is a swordsman battle of Omoi versus Amayori Ringo. And uh, they do have this little scuffle that is really, really well animated. The end of the episode, I felt, was somewhat anticlimactic because of the way it ended. They eventually get to a point where they're on this part of the battlefield, and the ground beneath them explodes, and they both get stuck in, like, this quicksand marsh. And I don't know if Omoi planned this, and I'm not sure if this is how it was supposed to work out. Uh, but what's interesting about all of this is that all of a sudden, as Ringo is dying, uh, she starts to become really respectful of Omoi, and as a token of her appreciation before her death, she literally throws her swords to Omoi, so he now has the swords of Amiori Ringo, which I think is just really, really cool. And uh, of course it fits with him being from the Cloud Village, he can use lightning style and everything, so I think that's really awesome. The episode ends with the cliffhanger of us getting ready to head back into the war as Naruto and Killer V make their way into the battlefield. But we're not going to get there quite yet because starting next week is the beginning of the Chikara or the Power Arc, which is going to be a six episode arc. And I implore you guys to watch it because it looks really, really good. I mean, they're obviously putting a lot of work into it. The animation, you know, from the preview alone looks fantastic. So please. Check it out just for curiosity's sake. And just to let you guys know, next week is Thanksgiving, so the Naruto Shippuden review will not be out on Thursday for obvious reasons. It will be out on Friday, however, so expect to see that sometime then. So this episode right here, um, it was good. Uh, there was some pretty decent animation here and there. There was a few sloppy moments, uh, but mostly I, I did kind of enjoy the story. Like I said, I think Omoi's a cool character. I liked seeing his interactions with all his other Cloud Ninja. Uh, it really pissed me off how that other guy just took, you know, hold of the group and everybody's like, eh, screw it, we're just gonna go with him. I'm glad that Kakashi and Guy didn't, like, steal the thunder of Omoi in this episode. And, uh, like I said, the little bit at the end where he tosses one of his lollipops to Ringo and then she tosses, uh, her swords to him, I thought that was really awesome and a great touch. And, uh, it's good to see that, you know, someone's gonna get some use out of those swords and they're not just gonna be buried in the dirt. And uh, it's just interesting to see her personality be so respectful at the end, because before she was so incredibly ruthless, but you could, I guess you could say as the episode was going on, she was starting to gain a lot of respect for Omoi because he was the only one who was standing up against her. So uh, still, I really enjoyed this episode. It was real fun. There were a few sloppy moments um, and a few moments that didn't need to be there. Uh, so it's not a perfect episode, but I'm going to give this one a 8 out of 10. I just really liked it a lot. Uh, you know, I, I'd wish there was a little bit more uh, solid action and a little bit more consistency in the animation, but, you know, can't get everything. Alright guys, so how did you feel about this episode? You can let me know with your comments below. And are you guys actually going to watch this Chikara arc? I'd love to know what you guys think. Remember guys, as always, if you like this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up. It really helps these videos out a lot. That concludes this review today, guys. Super Comic Guru 9000, out.